Hi, everybody. Thank you for being here again. My name's Lee. If you haven't been here before, thank you for coming. And this month, our theme is imagination. So I am excited to celebrate imagination with you. I think that all of us use imagination every single day. I think I'm sure some of you sometimes pretend to be different animals, like a little mouse gathering seeds or a big lumbering elephant or maybe a magical creature like a fairy flying through the forest, building little fairy homes or taking care of the flowers. And even I think a lot of us use imagination for turning just regular things into something magical, like seeing the strands of sunshine coming through a window and imagining that there are gold threads coming down from the sky. Or sometimes when we hear a baby laugh, it sounds like little tinkling bells or little fairy laughter. There's so many ways that regular things can just be filled with meaning and love because we can use our imaginations. And so I invite you this month to use your imagination for all of those things. And also for, we can use our imaginations for imagining the future and imagining how we want to be living in 10 years and how we can imagine that the earth is being cared for, that we're caring for each other. So I invite you right now to imagine with me, close your eyes and imagine that everywhere you go, everyone you see is just full of love. You can see the love pouring out of them in their big smiles and in the way they talk to you, the way they care for each other and the earth. And just sit for a minute and feel how that feels to see all of that love. It makes my heart feel full. It feels like a big hug, like being held in a, one big hug. And that is pretty powerful to be able to use our imaginations right now to make ourselves feel that much love. So that is one of my invitations this month. And um, you can find a link in the newsletter. So ask your parents to find this link. It's something called 30 Days of Love. And it's created by an organization called Side With Love. And for the 30 days from MLK Day, which is this Monday, all the way through Valentine's Day, they have ideas for how to fill the world with more love. And it's perfect for us because our second principle for Unitarian Universalists is offer love to all. So giving everybody a chance to feel that love coming out of you and making sure that you're showing your love every day. So I hope that you will join me in the 30 Days of Love campaign. And it Starting, it starts off on a really special day. I think maybe all of you have heard of Martin Luther King Jr. His, he is celebrated this coming Monday. And he was an amazing, amazing person. He had a big imagination. He was able to vision things that he had never seen before, but he could imagine them. He could imagine a, a future when black people were treated equally and with respect, just like white people. And he said in his, one of his most famous speeches, um, his I have a dream speech, he was talking about his dreams and his visions for the future. So he said, I can see a future when little black boys and little black girls hold hands with little white boys and little white girls. And I think that's so special that he could imagine that, even though maybe he had never seen it. So I invite all of us to imagine that beautiful future when you can just see that love coming out of everyone you meet. And let's start now doing something every day 
and especially on MLK Day. It's a day, it's a national day of service. So I want you guys to come up with something, anything, even if it's a little small act, all those little acts add up to a big world of love. So I want to leave you now with a body prayer. I've been doing these, a couple of these before, and it's a way of sending our intentions out into the world with our words and also with our motions of our body. So the words are, from our inner quiet, we raise our voice from our inner strength for our highest dreams. And we're going to say it two times out loud with motions. And then we will do the motions two times in silence together. From our inner quiet, we raise our voice from our inner strength for our highest dreams. From our inner quiet, we raise our voice from our inner strength for our highest dreams. Thank you for being here today, and may you be filled with love. Who can I be? Who can I be? What will I see? What will I see? In this great world, in this great world, who could be free? Who could be free? What will I build? What will I build? And what will I find? And what will I find? My story begins. My story begins. Inside my mind. Inside my mind. Who can I be? Who can I be? What will I see? And what will I see? In this great world. In this great world, who could be free? Who could be free? What will I build? What will I build? And what will I find? And what will I find? My story begins. My story begins inside my mind. Inside my mind. In my imagination.